Fora TV. The world is thinking. So what do we have? Let's just talk about this product that we have. We have an airplane that flies top speed around 120 miles per hour, two people, takeoff distance 750 feet, sells for $139,000, and has retractable landing gear, so it's amphibious. Um, it flies great. We're going to show you some, uh, some flight video that's really cool in a second. The performance on the water, like I said earlier, may be the best ever done, and you'll see that as well. Um, looks cool for sure, and the folding wings you know, give you the freedom to one-up your neighbors if you want to take it home and store it there, right? <laughs> um, but this whole notion of, of getting the airplane out of that controlled environment that Kirk showed you earlier is, is a huge mission for us. And, you know, it means now, just like you take your, your wakeboard boat to wherever lake you want to go, you can take your plane out there and you can use the lake as, as your airport. Um, the cockpit, and we'll open up the, 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 the canopy outside afterwards, you can take a look at, a, at the cockpit, something we're very proud of. The goal was to deliver something that existing pilots found completely credible and met all of their needs for a recreational flying mission, and yet at the same time, someone who had never flown before could look at this cockpit and, and say, oh, yeah, I could do that. that. That feels like something I could do, and that really has been the universal response uh, to this. Um, safety, of course, is a huge deal, and there's a lot of safety features designed in the airplane. This is the most dramatic. It's not something we invented, but the application to this airplane is perfect. It's a complete airplane parachute, rocket deployed in about two seconds, and brings the entire airplane down to the ground safely. It's an option that adds about 35 pounds to the aircraft, and for some people, it is, it is a critical option that they want to have. So uh, why don't we show some uh, flight footage, and, and Kirk will, will give some commentary on it. All right. To a few minutes here, this is the actual B-roll, so it's not edited, it's just a, b a bunch of cut to the airplane flying, kind of doing its thing out of, out of flight test. Uh, before I show you this, I'll give you a sense that uh, what you're going to see is an airplane that's, uh, you've gotten the theme so far, but you'll see it's, it is designed to do one thing, and that is to give you an amazing flying experience to get out sort of interact with your world in a very visceral way. The airplane's very maneuverable, takes off pretty quickly on the water. About 500 to 700 feet. This is up at Lake Isabella, actually. It's about an hour uh, east of Bakersfield. It's a beautiful place to fly. So the airplane is both dynamic, it, it's docile and easy to fly, and also very, very responsive. So if you're a beginner pilot, it's very easy to learn. 120, with the limit by LSA, 120 knots, so about 120 mile an hour top speed for us. And really flying off the water, even off the land, is extremely easy. Most people would be shocked at how simple basic stick and rudder flying really is. You can see the, the deep V hole, which is unusual for a seaplane this small, which gives it very good rough water characteristics. That's Matthew, our VP of engineering, having fun, chasing his baby. This is cool. You don't see this many airplanes. I mean, uh, you've probably never seen this. Uh, but it can, it can maneuver something like a jet ski, so, and it can do so very safely. So it ends up turning, not just landing on the water is a functional thing. You actually land on the water, you can blast around and have fun. see the V here, it's really, it's really pronounced. The airplane can land, it's, it's designed for up to uh, 18 inch waves, and we've had it out in the water and it handles, I mean, it handles rough water exceptionally well. Now, I mean, big waves you can't take it out in, but where you take your ski boat out, you go. What's the landing speed? Landing speed is uh, about 45 miles an hour, and takeoff speed about the same. Driven by regulation, so every LSA has to stall slower than 45 knots. And we're less than that, actually. Cool feature here, if you look, uh, sea wings right up in here. You can, so getting water into a propeller actually is not healthy for the propeller. It, it'll, it tears up, you know, whether it's made of metal, it'll actually tear it up. Uh, this sea wing design actually keeps, a, keeps the propeller completely dry, which is a big benefit for seaplanes.
you can launch it or retrieve it on that trailer like a boat at the marina. And if it's an amphibian, you can take it out to the lake, or I'm sorry, take it out to the airport, and it has a, this trailer is, this is one out the, that's out front. Lift it up, lower the landing gear, which are out right here now, and then you can roll it off at the airport. So it has the ability to be launched or retrieved at the airport, at a grass strip, on a dirt road, uh, or at the lake. So you taxi it into the water, and then once you get in the water, you could raise the landing gear and then take off and then fly to an airport, put your wheels back down and land. Or do the reverse, come out of the water, park in the parking lot, go have lunch, and then go back in the water.